made you, boy. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Daniel, and today I am here with a $2,000 gaming PC build. Now, honestly, this is a pretty good price range if you have the budget for it. Um, you can do 1440p gaming with this, even like, I don't know, you could even do 4K, honestly, with this. Uh, although it'll be like, I don't know, medium settings, 45 FPS or so on games like Bioshock Infinite, Battlefield 4, so on and so forth. So, you can do 4K, but honestly, uh... 1080p, 1440p gaming maxed out. This will work just fine. So moving right into the CPU, I want the AMD FX 8350 4GHz 8 core processor. Uh, this is $190 right now and it is a beast of a CPU. Really for gaming, you don't need anything more than this. Uh, the consoles right now, like the Xbox One and PS4, are using 8 cores, but they're only at like, what, 1.6 gigahertz, I believe it is. Uh, so this is at 4 and you can even do overclocking if you want to get a better CPU cooler than the one I have here. Um, so yeah, this performs way better than either of the consoles, obviously, and it should for this price. But uh, yeah, moving on to the CPU cooler. I mean, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo sleeve bearing CPU cooler. This is $30 right now, and um, it's not the best cooler on earth. Um, it's sort of a mid-range cooler, but for the price that it comes at, it is definitely one of the best values around. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing any overclocking on the CPU because it's already at 4 gigahertz, so there's really no point, but it will keep it nice and cool nonetheless. So yeah, moving on to the motherboard, I'm with the ASUS M5A99FX Pro R2.0 ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. Uh, right now this is a $20 mail-in rebate, making it $115. Now, the difference between this board and the Evo version of the board is, uh you know, overclocking features, so on and so forth, so, eh, you can downgrade to the Evo, but right now, because this board is the only one that has the mail-in rebate, it's only, like, five bucks less, so, honestly, I just get this, and maybe upgrade your CPU cooler later, maybe do some overclocking if you do want to get into that, um, so, you know, you do have the option to upgrade your CPU cooler later with this, and possibly do some overclocking, so with the memory, I'm with the G-Scale Ripjaws X-Series, 8 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes, DDR3, 1866 MHz memory, this is $85 right now, uh, some great memory, the cast latency on it is 9, so you shouldn't get any, you know, latency issues or anything like that, um, 1866 MHz clock speed isn't really going to help all that much, except for in games like Battlefield 4. That's really the only game I know that uses uh, higher clock speed RAM. So yeah, it's it's going to be just as good as 1600, if not better. So yeah, moving on to the storage, I want the Western Digital WD Black 4TB 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This is 250 bucks right now, and is a beast of a hard drive. Um... This will be more than enough for storing your videos, pictures, songs, whatever. Things that you don't need, like, blazing fast access to. Uh, although, you know, for your games and things like that, I would recommend storing them on the SSD that I have in this build, which is a Samsung 840 Evo 120GB solid-state disc. This is $90 right now. And honestly, me, I have, like, 400 gigabytes worth of games on my PC. So, this isn't going to be enough to fit my games, but... I know a lot of people who have like pretty small um, Steam libraries and things like that, so you maybe some of you could fit all of your games on this, uh, but if not, you could just fit the games that you play most on this. If you play Battlefield 4 a lot or Counter-Strike a lot or, I don't know, League of Legends a lot, uh, you could fit all those on there, things like that. So yeah, for the video card and with the EVGA GeForce GTX Titan Black Edition, uh, six gigabyte video card, this is $1,100 right now and is a beast of a card um if you're not going to be doing 1440p or you know 4k gaming with this uh you should probably back down to a 780 ti but just to give you better fps in like 1440p or even if you wanted to do like 1440p three monitors or 1080p three monitors or anything like that uh it will support it because it has six gigabytes of video ram which is super important when uh handling you know larger textures and just more textures and more monitors and higher pixel density monitors or just more pixels in general. So again, 1440p works. Three monitors, two monitors, one monitor, 1440p, whatever. 
1080p, anything like that will work on this. You've got enough video RAM to handle it. So yeah, for the case, I want the Corsair 650D ATX mid-tower case. This is $180 right now, and I love this case simply because of the build quality. It's a super sturdy case that also looks insanely good, in my opinion. Um, you know, the cases like the 900D are way too big for me. Um, that is what she said. But yeah, you really don't need anything more than this. Uh -huh. The build quality is phenomenal. You could hit it with a sledgehammer. It won't even like damage your internals or anything. So yeah, for the power supply, I want the Corsair CX 600, 600 watt, 80 plus, it's actually the 600M. So it's 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular ATX power supply. This is a $20 mail-in rebate, making it $50. So you do get semi-modularity. So you get to remove some cables for better airflow and better cable management in your case. Uh, not that that's going to be a problem because we have an ATX mid tower case in this build. Um, yeah, you may be wondering why I went with this. I just went with this because uh, a lot of people really don't care about power supply efficiency. I do, honestly, but a lot of people kind of get mad whenever I put like an 80 plus platinum 500 watt power supply or something in there. They're like, eh, put, I don't know, they're like, CX series are so much cheaper. Do that. Eh. Uh, I don't know what the hell that voice is. But, anyways. Yeah, um, I just went with this because people want me to, so I did it. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new here. I post content every other day. Thanks for watching, and peace.